Weather app from the App Store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Stacy May. Well, not a lot of sun for us this weekend, at least though most of the rain and certainly the most significant rain fell last night. Let's look at live first warning Doppler radar. We have a little bit out there here on our Sunday evening. Just some spotty areas of very light rain and some sprinkles not amounting to much. But again, a few drops uh, here and there kind of working in from the northwest and then pushing their way down to the southeast. You can see most of what we have right now falling through parts of southwestern Indiana and then a little bit south of the Ohio River into parts of Henderson, Webster, Northern Hopkins, McLean, and uh, Davies County. And you can see one little shower there coming out of uh, Gibson County, pushing down into Warwick County, a little bit up here in Pike County over into Dubois County, and then also some in Knox County back into northern Gibson County, and a few lighter showers and sprinkles there coming in from the northwest. So we'll see this chance kind of continue here late this evening and we won't be able to rule out some sprinkles even a few flurries late tonight and then through the day tomorrow but again anything that falls very light very spotty and not amounting to much or not lasting very long at all either and that's our view right now from the top of the fifth third bank building in downtown Evansville, our superior ag tower cam. And we've had some breaks in the clouds this evening and we'll have some breaks in the clouds overnight and during the day tomorrow. But the clouds uh, are going to kind of linger and still win out over the sunshine. And the chilly air is certainly going to win out uh, tonight and tomorrow. So we're down to 43 right now. North Northwest wind at about eight miles per hour. So a little bit of a breeze out there. And I do think tomorrow is going to be a breeze easier day than today and even about uh, five to six degrees colder than today. So you're going to notice that change too tomorrow. So we really don't need any more wind, but we're going to have it tomorrow. We're all falling through the 40s right now and a few places where we're breaking up those clouds again, dipping into the upper 30s now up here in the northwest corner of the tri-state, Fairfield down to 38, Flora down to uh, 39, and we will continue to fall tonight. And it looks like we're going to get just below the freezing mark to start things off tomorrow morning and about 30 is going to be our low. Even colder than that though, tomorrow night and Tuesday night. So here's Storm Tracker. You see this little wave of a uh, spotty light rain and sprinkles kind of working its way on through right now. But if you look up here to the northwest, some breaks in those clouds too. So that also will move in and through the tri-state overnight and into your Monday morning. So we'll hang on to the chance for some sprinkles and flurries, but we'll break up the clouds some overnight. And that's how we'll start our Monday with some sun. But watch these clouds to our northwest will try to move back in later in the morning and around midday, especially along and north of the Ohio River and they could continue to have some flurries with them especially northeast of Evansville and those clouds will push farther to the south in the afternoon and evening but we should also get some breaks in those clouds too especially later tomorrow and then into the evening and then we will see a little more clearing tomorrow night into Tuesday morning and finally on Tuesday I think skies will become mostly sunny for us and we will see a lot of sunshine but we'll start Tuesday with a hard freeze in the morning, and it's going to be another very chilly uh, afternoon. So here's your forecast for the rest of tonight. Variable clouds, still some very spotty light rain, sprinkles, even a couple flurries possible, and cold, upper 20s to low 30s. And then tomorrow, clouds, a little sun, still can't roll out some sprinkles and flurries, breezy and cold. Highs are only going to be around 40 degrees. And then remember, I said that hard freeze tomorrow night, we could also have one Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. So if you do have some sensitive vegetation out there that's kind of already gotten into the growing season, that could be affected. We only get a high of 43 on Tuesday, even though we'll be back to mostly sunny skies. We'll start at 26 Wednesday morning, but it gets a lot better Wednesday afternoon. Mostly sunny, back to normal, the high 55, and we get one above normal day on Thursday, a windy high in the low 60s. We'll see increasing clouds, though, and right now, best chance for rain will be late Thursday and especially Thursday night into Friday morning. And then we've got chilly air moving back in. So mid 50s on Friday, very windy. And then it looks sunnier next weekend for Saturday and Sunday. And right now it looks dry, but it looks like we're back to highs in the low to mid 40s and those morning lows in the upper 20s. Cody.
All right. Thank you, Stacy. Still ahead after the break, a 